This is the level 538 Forsaken Mission target, but probably not the way Kixai wanted you to do it. Hey everyone, Derpy here, and welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. This target can be pretty tricky, so don't worry too much if you don't get it on your first try, but I'm going to try and show you the techniques you need to do in order to replicate this. Although a little bit of luck with the mortars from the ships is also needed. I did think that I could get creative and try to bring in, say, a skirmish ship to take down these guys with subs, although that didn't really work. Maybe someone wants to try that with, I believe it was the flagship Ronin or something. You might have some luck with that, although I don't really expect so. Flagship Lionfish maybe? Not quite sure. But let's go ahead and refocus onto this target and what I'm doing here. Now I'm stopping and staying stopped so that the built-in weapons from the Triari can take down the rockets from the... Uh, big rocket turrets is what I'm going to call them here. Those are pretty dangerous and you want to make sure that those are going down pretty quickly because, well, they are dangerous and as a result, you want to make sure that you're staying stopped because otherwise they're going to hit you and do massive damage to your fleet and your health is going to pretty much just evaporate, which I don't think you want to have happen. Take at least three Triari into this target and stay stopped and you should do fine in this target. Now, what you're seeing what you do here is engage these ships. When you're engaging the ships, it's really important that you're going very slowly, and only one of them is firing at you at a time. Even then, occasionally, one in every you know, few targets, a mortar will sneak through, and there's not really too much you can do about that, other than maybe hope it doesn't happen. And I've actually, for this video, put on a countermeasure arc ship, which does have more gales on here, which should help out a little bit in that case. Again, just try and make sure that you're staying at the very, very edge of your range so that only one of these mortar ships, whatever you want to call them, are they the courage, I can't quite tell, is shooting at you to reduce the chances of an incoming mortar actually getting through. You can do that and you can use two ships. It does go a lot faster if you use two arc game ships, but it does get pretty slow. Luckily, I was able to kill all three of those and they're going to go down. Now, what you want to want to do for the rest of the target is find these rocket turrets, get in their range, and then stop. You're going to stop right here so that your rocket, anti-rocket countermeasures can engage everything and shoot them down. Once you do that, get close, close enough that you can shoot at everything in the target, but not so close that these brimstone missiles and the UAV I'll show you on the second from next cluster I hit actually engages you. Take those down and you'll be pretty set. You'll notice that I just killed this cluster a second ago, and as I did, I saw the white flash from the rocket turret pop up. That means you need to actually have some time to reload, so I'm going to sit here for a few seconds, make sure I'm reloaded fully, and then go in range of the next rocket turret right here. Go ahead and stop, and if I spend enough time to reload, all of these rockets will get shot down, and I can go ahead and move closer. This particular turret cluster, you can actually outrange the brimstone missile enough that you can use your rockets right here to take down the cluster a little bit more quickly. I'm still stopped right here so that when these incoming rockets hit me, they don't do, they actually don't hit me so they don't do any damage. Same sort of drill with this next one. Make sure you give a few seconds in order to reload your rocket turret before engaging the next big rocket guy. You want to make sure that your anti-rockets are reloaded. Once they are, or once you think they are, you can go ahead and move forward and go ahead and stop just about now so that you're taking down all the incoming rockets. Then get close enough, close enough, at least on this particular cluster, you can't really use your regular uh, rockets. I think they're called the Ventrium rockets to deal with this cluster. You just have to do it with the UAVs. And I will warn you and tell you that the hardest part of the target by far is the next six ships that you are about to see. It is very, very common for one or two of them to have some sort of incoming rocket get through. Just be warned about that. I might speed it up and get through me dealing with them because there's a safe way to do it and then there's the quick and easy way to do it, which is often not so safe. But before we get there, we have to deal with these rockets right here. I am stopped and engage in all of those, take them all down. Then let's get closer and make sure we do it at the very bottom of the target so that we can hit the whole cluster right here from a safe range and not have to deal with the ships or anything else like that. Let you stay stopped and we can sneak forward a little bit maybe to the side, see if that helps out engaging any of the rest of this target at all. Now what I might do is wait for these ships to come back and stay in this exact spot right here and just kill them if they come in barely to the range. Although it's a little bit risky, I don't quite know if I want to do that here. I don't know their exact patrol range off this top of my target. If I hit this a dozen times or so, I'd, I'd probably be able to learn that. Looks about right here is not quite far enough, so we'll sneak in a little bit. 
do some damage. I got the second ship firing at me, which is not ideal. You don't really want to have that second guy firing at you because your chances of the mortar sneaking through goes up dramatically once that second cluster or that second ship is shooting at you. I'll be a little bit aggressive here and take down this turret while waiting for these ships to circle back. Once they get close, I'm going to go ahead and get in position to run away. As soon as he fires, sneak forward here. If you do this very, very carefully, you shouldn't take any damage, although that's pretty easy for me to say based on the fact that I think I just got a very scratch on here. I'm showing you the technique for zero damage and getting pretty unlucky on the borders, so I think I'm going to call that good at that and kind of just show you the technique and say this is how to do it for zero damage while getting pretty unlucky and having a mortar sneak through, which is a little bit cheeky, but that's about the best I can do in this particular target based on how much trouble it's giving me here. I could probably re-edit this and get another video going, record a second time or third time, and get through and, and be able to get one with no mortar shots coming through, but that's not necessarily fair to do, and I'd rather you have the video out earlier rather than waiting for it later. Let's just sneak through a little bit closer, a few turret shots, second guy shot at me there, but nothing got through. It's kind of just dumb luck what gets through and what doesn't. Second guy shot at me, but again, nothing got through. No one got through that time still. It is pretty tricky what does happen to go through and what doesn't. There's not really an exact science to it. Maybe you just do more gales and more gales and more gales on the fleet until every weapon you put on there could be a gale. Well, this first cluster is about to go down of ships. It would go a lot faster if I had a second damage arc. And of course, I'll show you the build at the very end of this as always. That's down. Let's go ahead and engage the next ship cluster. This one actually tends to be worse for some reason than the first one. I don't know why. Maybe hitting it from a different angle would be the way to go. It seems to just like the mortars to sneak through a little bit more often. Nothing too tricky here so far. He's about at half help, which means I'm making pretty good progress. Stay a little closer to him, a little bit closer. Wait for him to turn around. You turn around yourself. I'm not using the flagship, the Princeps Traiari, because it's not yet ranked, so its turn speed is very, very low, and then we get you in trouble in cases like this. Well, there's that cluster down, and you might think you can run in and take the middle. Don't do that one yet, because the range on the middle and the range on this one do overlap, which is a recipe for disaster. You really don't want to engage any of these rocket clusters when they're overlapping, or you will lose basically your entire fleet, because the built-in um, weapons are not good enough to countermeasure all of that. If you sit in this one right spot here, you can actually outrange the Brimstone turret and the UAV, which I'm highlighting right now. You can, you know, outrange both of those guys right there and actually have some damage on to the rest of the target. I'll go ahead and select someone else here just so I can see the range of the rocket turret when he's firing at me and move into range just a little bit closer here. All right, target's down. UAV is just about down. I'm in range of him, so let's stop. Wait for him to shoot at me a few times and then go forward a little bit faster. I should be able to actually outrange this one a fair amount too, which I can right there. Look at that. I can split my weapons a little bit if I would like as well, just to get everything going through faster. Stay stopped so that the rockets don't do any damage to me. There should just be a very little bit less than left in the target right here, and it's this one weapon down at the very bottom here. Well, that's the technique. Let's see if we can't go over the damage report, the battle in the build a little bit. I think this should probably be instant base repair under 25 minutes, and that's the target just about down. I don't really like this fleet. It requires an intensive level of driving. Yes, you can get your FM done for free. It's a lot of driving. I would prefer just to have a single auto target. At least that would be the thing. Let's go ahead and take a look at the battle report and the build. As you can see, I took a very little bit of explosive damage right there. And that's 21 minutes of damage. So that's probably what you get for one mortar landing on you. For the build, I do have one damage arc battle carrier that is up to X1. I do have a countermeasure arc battle carrier. That was just to provide some extra insurance against some of these mortars. You could probably just use another damage ship right there if you wanted. A regular Triari, which is a countermeasure setup with no armors. 
I do have a second regular Triari, which is countermeasures with an MDS-3. This one luckily does have armors, which don't really seem to make too much of a difference. And then the last one is still a regular Triari, one MDS-3, three gales, and then no armors on this one. I'll try and leave the Kixai hash codes in the description and see if I can get a build video on the Triari up. With that said, I want to go ahead and say thank you to all those whose names appear on the end screen of the video. Their support helps make these videos possible. With that said, and until next time, this is Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.